Okay, so I guess we're, it's a quarter past now. I guess we'll get started. So let me know if you can hear me here um, as I attempt to turn all this stuff on correctly. Um, let's see, I think I'm over here and I also need to turn this on and I think that should be it there. So, Avatar Fortnite properly fully launches uh, today. That's obviously the uh, really kind of exciting thing uh, that we have going on here. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go jump into it. We're gonna uh, play some games. Uh, and at some point on the stream, I do want to also open up this figure. Uh, you'll, if you saw my Twitter earlier on in the week, uh, you saw me post about getting this. Um, I haven't had time to open it up and like do a video yet, so uh, I guess we'll just open it up on stream. I still plan to do a video on it, um, comparing it to the other Diamond Select figures, but um, we'll get to that uh, a little bit later as maybe a, a bit of a break for, uh, for after a bit of gameplay, um, but uh, we'll, we'll cover that when we get to it there. So it's Avatar hype here, of course. We got some news yesterday. It's actually been a pretty good week in general for Avatar. Um, just kind of uh, waiting for just more kind of official stuff to happen, I suppose, is the, the kind of unfortunate thing in all of this is that um, I I do wish we had seen the official channels post about what happened yesterday. Um, but they're, they, for whatever reason, don't want to do that. Um, is that. And then, yeah. Uh, as mentioned there in chat, yeah, Rocket League Avatar. I actually got uh, that stuff, so I can actually show you guys that stuff. So, here we are. Um, I actually haven't played a game since the update went live today. So, first of all, let's just take a look at the uh, kind of notes here. So, uh, Avatar Elements is the name of the event in Fortnite. Um, so, there's going to be bending, of course. There's the whole uh, event pass stuff. Um coming into the game they're highlighting the reward track of course if you buy it you do get access to ang uh, but there is stuff also available for free if you don't want to actually uh, spend the 1000 v bucks and um, one of the big things that's going to be added to the game uh, is of course going to be um we have water bending from the stream last week, the update last week, but now we get air bending, earth bending and fire bending, which all do uh, different things. Um, and then that's just some patch notes from before and the big free item at the end if you go all the way is uh, the oppa glider of course so that's that um here is the event pass as you can see here so it's called elements it ends in 20 days so there's basically three weeks to uh, do all of this stuff we're going to do a bunch of quests to gain chi which then gets us chakras and that will then get us um, the, the various items. So top track here, as you can see here, is the free stuff. So free, you're going to get the um, elemental cycle um, spray. There's the four elements banner here, which, uh, as you can see, there's one for each element, which I think is a cool enough uh, symbol kind of back bling thing, which is kind of cool. There's some level ups for the actual battle pass, which is... Uh, decent um there is the loading screen of course which is uh, kind of nice um another level up there's the guitar stuff for the fortnite festival stuff um another level up the the really one of the more hype things i suppose in the free track is the cabbage merchant emote and um, so I, I really like that they've given this to people for free it is quite later on in the uh, event but it's still kind of cool there's some nice animation stuff there um, you get this laughing toff kind of uh, emoji style emote. Another level up. Uh, and then Sokka Space Sword, of course, as well. Um, so yeah, th one of the big things has obviously been like people asking like, Hey, where's Sokka? Why wasn't Sokka included? Like of, of all the main Team Avatar members, no Sokka, of course, no Suki either. Are, are they going to do a wave two? Because they've given Sokka everything except kind of the boomerang when there's no Sokka so what's going on here and that's the big question that we have uh, and then yeah Appa Glider very cool 
Uh, we know the animation for this is you're on top. You're kind of surfing on top. Again, the animation has to have the character like standing upright. So I think they've done the Oppo one. Um, it looks, I think, pretty good. It's uh, quite nice. So that's when you uh, basically complete all six of the kind of pages of quests, uh, which are going to be unlocked gradually. Um, here is the premium reward track. Um, so what what you get here, you can see here, you have to unlock it with uh, V-Bucks. Um, only a thousand, and that's actually pretty good value considering how expensive some of the other stuff is. So there's an Ang emoji emote, an Ang banner icon, level up, the Ang air sphere or air scooter um, emote. And this is an interesting one because it is a traversal emote, so you can actually move around on this. I don't think it's it's not like a fancy way to move, but still very cool. Uh, another level up. Um, Momo Messenger back bling. I think this is very nice. We were all expecting this, and it's cool that it is a kind of reactive or animated one. So it's uh, it's Momo in the bag that Sokka purchased, the one that matches the belt. Um, so that's very nice. And um, just really, really nice to have that here, of course. Um, another level up. Ang Spray. Uh, Air Nomad Staff here. So of course they're not going to have it splay open, but it's still a cool uh, staff um, uh, pickaxe there. Another level up, and then Avatar State Ang is the final part of the um, uh, premium reward track right at the end. It's not a style for normal Ang; it's just a separate skin, which is an interesting way that they did it. So anyway, I'll just grab this. Um, So you can see here, you get Ang straight away. So that's cool. And you also get the uh, the Lego version of Ang. So there he is. Lego Ang. And what's cool about it is that like it is Ang in his um comic outfit. That's the cool part of this. It's it's not his book three outfit. It's his comic outfit because he has the the yellow kind of pants and kind of like the orange on on his uh, feet, whereas of course his book three outfit has more of a kind of Fire Nation kind of bottom half uh, going on here. So very cool here because it's obviously tall Ang, of course, which is very nice. So that's that. Um, and yeah, we have to do the uh, Chi Path stuff to. Uh, do all this so we'll, we'll organize that in a second the current quests that we have here you can see here this is the way they're organized is what we're going to have to do um so you can see here open six chakras to unlock the appa glider and um, complete the um water chakra quest to open the water chakra and that gets you um uh, the chakra, of course, but you also get the uh, water symbol as a banner um, uh, icon as well. So that's cool. And then water chakra, which is what's open right now. Um, you have visit an elemental shrine. So you can see the list of them on the map here. Um, you can't quite see, I suppose, but um, they are across the map here. So I believe there's two per element, and this is going to be the guaranteed way to get all of the bending uh, mythic items. So that's that. Deal damage to opponents with water bending should be easy. Water bending is actually a pretty good um, item. Land on water from the bus. So again, that should be very doable. Um, we just have to make sure you go straight into the water, of course. Receive passive healing with water bending by entering water. Again, we can make that happen. Uh, we just have to do get what 25 healing and then destroy a cabbage cart so i think there's just cabbage carts all over the map i haven't seen them yet but i think that is the situation there um and then restore shields um so again that might take a bit of time and you can see here earth chakra is going to be available in uh two days effectively like three days from now uh, that's the way they're doing it they're not all immediately available they'll be available as we um go on through time so we only have access to uh, a little bit of stuff we can do this other stuff to get extra chi but i don't think it will actually help us here so i think we're going to be limited at the moment to probably only getting uh, these first two parts of the track so that's that uh, so yeah, let's uh, jump in here. Uh, we'll go to the locker here. I'm going to make Ang, of course. We just got Ang, so we have to use him, of course. 
So we're going to go ang. Back bling. We, we, the only back bling we have is, of course, the standard stuff we have. So there's ang with the element back bling. But we have some of the other stuff, of course, as well. So we can use um, all of that stuff. Um, so you could use Aang with Zuko's sword is kind of nice. Um, we could do Aang with Katara's water skin. We could do Aang with the Earth Rumble belt. Uh, I'll go. I'll go with this just because it's kind of funny that like this is the belt that matches the bag. Um, pickaxe, Aang with swords. Um, we have a bunch of options here. We could do Aang with Zuko's swords, um, which is kind of fun. Hammer Ang, and that that could be interesting. Um, what else do we have here? Ang with Captain America's shield. Um, there's there's some fun options that we can go for here. Uh, I'll I'll give I'll I'll give Ang Goku's kind of staff here, while well, just to to give a replacement staff for now. Um. The club. Well, I'll go, I'll go with the Goku kind of power pole here. Uh, the glider, we can give him Korra's glider, I suppose. Um, Ang on a snake. Um, I'll go, I'll just go Sh Shenron for now. And we'll go with the Avatar Descent. So, I'll just save this. And then we can switch characters as we go through the games, of course. So, yeah, we're just going to jump in here and see can we get as much of this done as possible. I'll start with just normal Battle Royale. I might actually do some uh, zero build stuff as well. But, uh, yeah, let's just jump in here and see how this goes. So, yeah, I, I've, again, not played on the kind of updates to the map. So, uh, let's see where I want to go here. Uh, I need to see where the line is first, actually. Um, so, we're trying to land on water. Visit a shrine. Get water bending. <laughs> um, and then some other more generic stuff of just getting shields and stuff like that. So, should be okay. I am excited to try out the other elements, though. Um, they all look pretty interesting um, to see how, how good they are. Oh, look. What a coincidence. And then, yeah, th there is a fun detail on this. Like, when you do the avatar flourish, you can see Aang's eyes light up, which is kind of cool. Obviously, his tattoos should glow as well, but, like, I, I appreciate the little detail there. Um, okay, so what are we doing here? Um, crack opponent shields, and we are here. Uh, elemental shrines are here. Uh, I guess I'll just try and head for this one all the way over here. I think this is a fire shrine, if I remember correctly. Um, so we'll just try and get off uh, quite early and head all the way over here. But yeah, I have heard some uh, praise for the, uh, the Toph um, skin for actually having some built-in stuff where her eyes don't animate in response to certain specific uh, like emotes that require the character to be looking places. So here's Aang with the green dragon from the comic. <laughs> so yeah, we should be looking for cabbage uh, merchant stuff while we're here. Okay, so we landed on water from the bus. Okay, we'll get some shields.
I need to grab a weapon here before um, I'm killed immediately. Um, Okay, someone not paying attention. As we get we get our first kill with the uh, the cannon accurate uh, Ang here, just murdering everyone. But yeah, we have the uh, fire um, over here. You can actually see it on the uh, mini map here. There's a little fire icon. So we'll head over here, and hopefully no one's got the fire bending. So here's our first look at a fire temple. Oh look, it's Zuko! Okay, two fire bendings. Okay, so that was a pretty good first uh, attempt here. Didn't take too much damage. That is a cool move. <laughs> Hello, Zuko. Uh, I'll actually get behind cover here. Years training for this day and you're just a child. <laughs> so they're giving him some kind of harsh dialogue here. Oh yeah, characters. Um, the others are on the map, aren't they? Yeah. So Zuko's here, Katara's all the way over there, Aang's on the mountain, and Toph is further down. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, the firebending's actually quite cool. So it's kind of rapid fire, a bit of a spread then at the end. Then you have the, the fire sweep. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, no, yeah, no other uh, outfits. It's just the skins are what they are. The uh, avatar. So Aang and Korra do have like separate skins where they have basically their avatar state version. Um, but uh, other than that, that's the situation that we have. Um. Okay, so we'll hire this follower here, because this is uh, one of the scouts. Okay, so we get a scan every so often, which is going to be helpful. Uh, and we'll make our way down here. Let's see, what else do we have to do? Okay, we don't get a look at the other elemental shrines, so... Destroy a cabbage cart. Yeah, so I should probably be on the lookout for a cabbage cart at some point. Let's see. What's this sniper we have here? Um... Okay, someone was over here. Okay, there's some action over here.
Hmm. But yeah, th th this game definitely does give you the sense for what, like, just sort of like an avatar character moving around like a giant kind of environment would be, how cool it would be. Um, just to show you this actually here. The avatar skin from Rocket League. Um, you can see here the quality isn't great here. It looks a lot better in Rocket League. Um, but you can see here it's got the cool um, arrow. Um, you've got some effects on the side. Pretty cool. Ooh, is this water bending? It is. So, hmm. Water bending is basically a submachine gun, so I'll grab this. Hmm. Now, where to find some action? Okay, so we'll head into the vault, see what's going on. Okay, there we go. That is an improvement. Grab this gold while we're here. Okay, yeah, we have a healing quest as well, but we haven't taken any damage. Because the waterbending healing only heals the, uh, the green, like, actual health bar, health bar. Just turn every car into the avatar. Hello? And it's just normal cabbages, obviously. So there's the quest for the cabbage cart. And yeah, for, for, for anyone wondering about cabbages, it's just a standard health item. It heals like... It's like five health. It's not, it's not very good. No fancy avatar cabbages. Oh. Uh, storm is coming in. To the Avatar. Whoa. That was not good, but anyway, we'll get going. Someone's got earth bending over there.
Oh. Okay, where have they gone? Okay, someone new has joined in. Okay. At least I got to restore my full shield there, I guess. Uh, okay, we're, they're still just holding position there, so I'm just going to move on. Uh, so I'll head into the water. Just to get my two points of healing in, I guess, for now. Just to highlight this in action. So, water bending in water. Passive healing. Oh, it's just counting it by being in the water. Okay, cool. Okay. Got that done. Only seven people left. Can you play as Korra? Yes. Uh, Korra was introduced uh, into the game last week if you have the battle pass. We can maybe play as her in the next game. Depending on how we go. Okay. Now, what are we doing here? Ooh, that was a nice shot. Sniper Ang. What was that? Was that just my follower shooting or not? Oh. Oh, whoops, someone's behind me.
Okay. Four people left. They must have been pretty low on health because uh, <laughs> I feel that was a pretty easy kill. Don't think I did that much damage, but uh, somehow we're uh, three other people left. Uh, I should probably get a healing item actually while I'm here. Um, is there anything? Oh, there we go. That will do. Okay. Uh, oh, someone over here. But probably best to wait and see what actually uh, happens here first. Oh, someone's just over there. Oops. Hmm. Calm down. <laughs> uh, okay, is there any way out from here? Okay. Ah, uh, this is pretty good actually. We're we're facing in the right direction. It's just that we have someone overhead. Okay. Okay, they're both down here. Do we have a chance? Okay, last two. Uh, where's the person gone? Uh, I've completely lost track of what direction I'm facing. I think it's over here. Okay, they've obviously moved on. Oh, there we go. We definitely have a chance at the win here. Oh, there we go. Oh, was that airbending? 
Um, because they like took off over here. Oops. That was very, very silly. Okay, uh, reload if I can. Okay, my scout is gone. Oh, 25 health left. That was actually like a pretty cool end of the game there. Um,. If I'd done a little bit more damage ahead of time, I could have got the win there. In the first game of Zhang as well, so um, that was uh, pretty interesting. Um, how do we do here? Five kills. Um, that, that was pretty decent, actually. A um, bit unfortunate, though, <laughs> um, right at the end there. But um, I definitely like firebending. It's kind of cool. It's, uh, it's range. It doesn't seem to do, like, amazing damage, but... Um, I like that the, the final hit jumps you into the air. That's kind of cool. Okay. So we'll see how, uh, how much progress we've made there. Because I think we did quite a few of the um, uh, quests. So yeah, yeah, we get, we get the elemental cycle spray. We get the uh, Ang emote. Okay, so yeah, we got uh, a couple of the quests. Yeah. 1,050, and then... Okay, what else do I need to do? So I need to land on water from the bus again, restore more shields, and do more damage with water bending, which again is here and here, but it also seems to be found elsewhere. Um, so that's all very, very doable. Um, otherwise, do I have anything else? Just the daily quests. Um, that's really all I have to do. So yeah, we'll switch to um, Hora, I guess. So uh, I guess, do we want to do, um, do we want to do uh, Rava, Korra, basically? Book four, Korra. Or book one, Korra. Uh, here. And then we can try out the other skins uh, as we go forward. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Um, that went pretty well. I'd like I'd like to try earth bending and air bending in the next game, so uh, I'll maybe try and uh, find out what's going on there. Um, I guess I can go to like Toph. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming Toph is next to a. Uh, I'm assuming Toph is next to an earth shrine, and um, Ang will be next to like an air shrine. Okay, so book one seems to have the most votes, so I'll go for this. Uh, I'll just switch this around like a little bit. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll use Korra with her normal stuff here. Um, emotes. We've got the Korra one here. Got this. I guess I'll put on one of the new ones. Um, so what did we get? We got this. I mean, we can, uh, elemental spray, I suppose. We'll, we'll try this and try to remember to actually spray some stuff in the game uh, and see what happens. But yeah, it's pretty fun, actually. Um, it seems like most people I encountered ended up having like a mythic of some sort. Like someone clearly had earthbending. The person at the end, I think, had earthbending and airbending because they were flying all over the place. Um, so I'm ex excited to see how much movement you get out of that. Let's see, um, I'll just go for this. 
So yeah, Korra, book one skin. With her ice pickaxes. Let's see. Uh, that's kind of cool. It's it's slightly kind of stylized, but it's still effectively the very traditional uh, symbols here. Uh, so that's that's kind of cool. Okay, now uh, where are we heading to? Oh, Toph is like right below us. Oh yeah, Earth Shrine just here. There's actually a fire shrine just next to us as well. Okay, I'll try this out in a second once I get uh, set up. And yeah, I, I just saw the chat in chat there. Yeah, remember to land in water. I did not land in water. Um, it's Toph. Hello. So she just says, uh, "Great sir, spending whoever lived, and don't you forget it." Classic Toph line there. Um, And I suppose I'll buy the Chug Splash from her. Okay, so we got it here. Let's see, it, is this a limited use item? Because it says five, so okay, what are we doing here? So we got Throw Rock, which is what we saw in the previous game. That's nice, that's classic earthbending. Kind of out of the ground, punch. Nice, dynamic. Um, earth Wall. Which is kind of cool. kind of nice actually it's on a bit of a cooldown i guess because it's uh got kind of like terrain kind of uh altering kind of abilities um but especially with two of them now it seems pretty powerful <laughs> um let's see Wait, someone's here. I was just about to check my quests. Okay, they're all the way up there. Whoa. <laughs> Are people just going around low health or something? Because, uh... That seemed kind of crazy. Okay. Let's swap this out for the air vent. <laughs> and it was by an Ang as well. That was, uh... Like, could the timing on that have been, like, any better? That I'm like, ooh, airbending, press button to pick up, sniped. <laughs> but, um, okay, we, we got to try an earthbending. We'll just go again, I guess, because it was kind of quick, that one. And then they get taken out. 
I don't think The Rock is a one shot. I think, I think the two people I was fight I was fighting that I did kill in one go. Uh, I guess we're just low on health from doing damage to each other. And then I think I must have just snuck up on someone while they didn't have health that much health, and it just happened to be a one shot. Um, but I guess it does decent damage because um, it is limited, whereas like fire bending and uh, water bending are kind of unlimited. Um, so um, what are we doing again here? Still need to do the water bending thing. Land on water. We'll, we'll remember this this time. Okay, where are we going? Uh, I'm going to land just in the lake here because I think Katara is like right there, is she? Oh no, she's over here. But I'll land in the lake here and then make my way over to Katara over here. And then we should get a, a look at one of the um, water shrines or temples. Okay, in the water. Now, where is any items I can grab? Uh, I'll just land here, I guess. Okay, land in water is complete. Oh, so we completed the water chakra. So we have a chakra open. That's nice. And we are heading uh, this way over to Katara. There. Okay, there's the restore shields popped as well. Um, yeah, I'll take that. And I don't really need one of these. So, damage with water bending. Okay, that's really all. And yeah, I'll get water bending over at Katara, unless it's already been taken. Still haven't got air bending yet. So close to the last game. That's someone there. Whoa. That was quite intense. Somehow won that engagement. What's this? Okay, earth bending. We'll grab that. Um, grab this, and we'll head inside. Looks pretty nice, actually. I like this. Yeah, the totems kind of cool. What's going on here? Yeah, you got the symbol there. That's nice. Oh look, Katara with the fan. Keep fighting, even if you don't think you'll win. Okay, not. Bad. Okay, so she'll heal me, of course. Okay. Uh, Flowberry Fizz. Why not while we're here?
Okay, water bending is what I need. Um, and now, okay. Let me just check on Ang. So Ang's actually up here. Okay, so we'll head up the mountain here. We'll use the jump pad to get over to there. That should be decent. Hmm. And it's it's so fun because because Fortnite kind of is a, like a little bit of everything. It's like. In an actual high quality avatar game, you can imagine doing something like that. Climbing a mountain, jumping off if you're an airbender, activating your glider to travel large distances. Like, you get to kind of do that here. Now, air temple, I assume, is high up. There we go. Empty. No Ang either. Hmm. Interesting. It looks nice though. Colors, symbols, correct. Just no air bending at the moment. Oh yeah, let, let me actually check. Is, is uh, I, I need to try and see is the iceberg island actually still there? It should be like somewhere on the other side of that kind of mountain. Um. But yeah, we. Got to move on and uh, see what happens. S looks like a scroll in there. Maybe it's airbending. It is. Um, okay. Uh, what do I get rid of? Yeah, I guess this is better than that. Okay, so we're up on a mountain by ourselves. Airbending. So we got... Air wheel and air jump. So air jump. That's cool. So if I jump. Okay, it's on cooldown. Makes sense. Movement's probably more powerful than just damage in a way. And then let's get on the air wheel. Oh, that, that, that boost effect is really cool. Tenzin. And how do I... Okay, deactivate it, okay. So let me just check out, uh, what does it say here? Uh, use air wheel technique to... Air jump technique to launch yourself and nearby players into the air. Okay, so it does have an offensive purpose, so... How does this work? So if, if I'm next to someone and I go like this, I take them up in with me? That's kind of interesting. Very risky to maybe try and do that, but um, interesting. We have three out of four elements as well, though. Um, so yeah, water bending is probably the best right now for distance. Actually, what am I doing? I can travel distance like this. 
the air train. Oh, water bending healing. Yeah, just couldn't get the kill there, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, maybe if I had firebending there, I could have done something, but um, no. Uh, okay, so we'll head back to the lobby here. And uh, we'll change skins, of course, so we'll see what happens. Um, and how much progress have we made? Okay, so 700 more chi. Yeah, as you can see here, yeah, we, we completed the water chakra, so we get the... Um, banner icon here and okay so 1750 and yeah we just need to do damage with water bending um which is actually quite a long quest um so who should we go for next uh, i guess zuko um toff or katara That's the big question. Uh, who will I play as next? But yeah, we're just next quest will get us this and this. 
And I think that's most everything we can do right now because uh, we can't get to 3,000. Okay, Toph is the first suggestion there, so I'll go with that. Yeah, people want to see Toph. Okay, so we'll go Toph. I will just use all Toph's kind of standard stuff here. We've got the hammers, her uh, turtle blimp, of course. Um, might switch this, actually. This isn't great. I don't have any really cool... Um, Things that necessarily like super fit Toph. Um, a lot of them are kind of just energy kind of based stuff here that I have. Um, cubes. Got that. Hollow data. <laughs> I'll just go with this. Um, okay, so Toph. Hmm. Uh, I suppose, like, let's see, the emotes. None of these really require, like, eye movement. I'm not sure if I even have any, like, emotes that do stuff like that. Um, where am I here? Okay, she's blinking and stuff but other than that um hmm okay we did that imperial march did that I don't think I have some of the emotes that you would actually want to use. Yeah, I've no idea which ones would or wouldn't show her eyes kind of doing the thing or not. Um, uh, are there any I can look at in the item shop that could show me this? Um, anyway. People have found it. I guess people with uh, with tons of emotes have been able to uh, figure it out and see what happens. Uh, I'll actually do a uh, zero build here um, and see if we can make some progress here. Because I think I'm doing pretty good with the uh, weapons, uh, the the new mythic weapons. Uh, I just don't seem to be getting the kills because of uh, some uh, heavy building players I, I'm running into. So. Um, Hopefully this will maybe allow us to get a win. Uh, I, I've definitely seen some clips uh, that her that she doesn't obviously look in some of them. I, I forget which ones it is or isn't, um, but um, it's definitely been going around that like oh, it's look at this detail that they put in. Um. Hmm. Okay, so I'll I'll roughly head in this direction because I know that's where the Katara Shrine is to try and get the um, stuff. Yeah, 
It's one of those ones where, like, she moves her head to face certain things, but I don't think her, like, eyes are moving in the same way that other characters who have... That's probably what I should do, is I should actually look at some of the emotes where maybe we can see other characters' eyes move and see this, the same thing happen with uh, Toph. I'll maybe try that afterwards. There's the air temple shrine there. Okay, let me just grab everything here. That was very close. Okay, so what am I doing here? Um, yeah, I'll take this. This is probably better than that, I guess. Oh yeah, Katara has healing. I don't... Does she have shields? I'm not sure if she has he, she, shields necessarily, but... Uh, okay, she, she has this. Okay. I'll move on. 
eight seven six so just a little bit more damage with water bending and I'll be good uh, okay something's going on up here Okay, that was nice, and then there is someone over here. Yeah, I completely lost track of this other person. Where are they gone? Someone's up there. There's someone's air scootering over here. Top seems tall. Yeah, uh, I guess this is just one of those things they have to do. Like, the, all the models, like, the, all the skins, basically, that you can use in-game have to basically be the same height for balance reasons. Um, so, yeah, Toph seems a little stretched out. I don't think you notice it too much unless you're, like, directly next to other characters and can see, like, very clearly how, like, tall she is. But okay, yeah, this, this game's going reasonably well. Um, five kills. So far, the, only the person with the air, air, air bending escaped us. 
So especially in zero build, like I, I definitely can see the air bending being quite powerful. And yeah, the the tough skin, yeah, it is imbalanced tough, um, specifically, um, because of, of all like the gold trim and stuff like that. The fact that her kind of hairband thing has the, uh, uh, it's it's a, it's different than the pom poms, uh, and it's also you know she's older, so they can justify her look being kind of like taller, for this one, um, it just makes the Katara choice all the weirder because. Obviously, with the Katara one, it's book one Katara. Everyone else, it's like later series, but uh, just Katara for some reason is uh, early series. Okay. Don't want to get trapped in here. But what have we got? Hmm. I prefer the auto shotguns. Ooh, whoops. Okay. Grab the crown and the air bending. Um, sniper rifle is interesting. Uh, get this. Oh, gotta go. What on earth did I just hit? Oh, that's so awkward. Thankfully, the person moved on before uh, sticking around to try and kill me. Okay, and I'll stop off here. I'll grab him as a follower, I guess, while I'm here. Um, do I need this? No. Poseidon. Uh, let's see. Uh, what is your favorite Avatar The Last Airbender episode? Um, probably Southern Raiders. I think when I've done videos covering like my episode list, Southern Raiders is the one I go for as like individual episode that I think is the best. But... Um, it's Avatar, so of course there's so many like really, really, really strong episodes uh, from pretty much all of the books. Um, so uh, it's kind of hard to choose, but I think Southern Raiders is what I tend to always go for. But like a lot of the end run of the show, like the a lot of the final kind of season three stuff is really strong. Like the uh, two invasion episodes, Boiling Rock is really good, Firebending Masters, um. But there's also good stuff elsewhere. So, you know, that's just in general kind of what I go for there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. What is happening? Seven kills. We're doing pretty good, actually, here. But there is someone in the vicinity, I think.
Whoops. Uh, oh, okay. I'm just gonna head out here. Travel over water. Okay, I was just gonna, I just needed to get out of there, I felt. Okay. Why do they, uh, will they do Sokka, his boomerang, as his pickaxe, and Suki in Wave 2? Will they come out with the animated movie to build a pipe? Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a Wave 2 of Avatar stuff. Uh, like, you, like you say, Sokka feels like he's effectively borderline just like straight up teased in the game already. Um, it's hard to say who else they'd do in that, to me, if you were doing three more characters, it'd be probably... Sokka, Azula, Iro. They, they they feel like the ones that would probably do the best, like sell the best. Uh, as hardcore fans, of course, we want Suki. We want them to include Suki. And I think Suki would work well. Um, it's just, will they actually do it? Because a lot of the times they do tend to kind of almost ignore some of that stuff. The, the, the kind of, the Suki demand, they tend to ignore it a little bit. Oh, is this firebending? Hmm. Do I go for it or not? Okay, what do we got here? That's fine. Okay, six people left. Um... I think up close and without the need to, I think, combat people with building. I'm not sure if I necessarily want firebending. I think I want the the shotgun probably for better up close stuff um, overall. Okay, someone's over there. Uh, someone's up there. I'm still in the circle here, so I'll just stay here. Okay, someone's flying in. Was that a player? Or was that someone with uh, Artemis as their follower? That was a bit weird. Um, somehow we got away with it. And then, yeah, the Korra characters. The, the Korra, I suppose, inclusion is a bit weird uh, in the sense that, like, she's the Battle Pass character... And I think most people ended up really liking what they did with that. It's just there's none of the other characters, for whatever reason. Again, there's there's always room for uh, the a, a second wave if they really want to. Okay, we're still in the circle. Another fire bending.
what's going on out here? Okay, so there's a medallion down there. Um, Which one is this? It is the speed one, so I'll go for it, actually. Uh, I'll wait for the storm, and then I'm going for... Air wheel action here. Oh, there's someone up there, actually. Last people left, okay. That was so silly. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that happened. I think I was in a... Oh, they were actually really close to dying as well, so... I... I probably actually maybe could have won just by kind of... Uh, uh, moving around a bit, but uh, I was so focused on health there that, uh, yeah, I got myself killed. But it happens, it happens. The curse of the uh, the, the close uh, finishes. Uh, okay, so, so we did complete the quest, though. So we have this. We have the four elements uh, banner back bling. Got this, 350 more chi, uh, and another level up. So let's just go into the battle pass for a second here. Um, close to finishing it. So I just had to pretty much buy up everything I haven't bought before. Um, okay, so just this this skin and then the last little section and then i can move on to this stuff mainly just to get some of the v books back that uh from the battle pass so yeah uh what are we doing here so yeah you can see we're, we're one out of six chakras away from unlocking appa of course um stage two is coming in obviously two days three days basically um the only other option we have here is creator island stuff, which I don't really mess around with too much. I don't really want to do that on stream, necessarily. So, I guess we'll just switch characters here. So, Katara or Zuko? For the next game. Is the question. Okay, two Zukos uh, straight away. So we'll jump in here with Zuko. Uh, this is his normal kind of setup here. Just for the sake of a bit of variety, I'll add the new item that I just got. Uh, wherever it is. Here we go, yeah. Four elements banner. So we can edit this and we'll go for the fire style. So you can see, yeah, we, we get the different ones. Air, fire, earth, water. But we'll go with fire for Zuko, just as a bit of a variety here. And we'll do something. Well, 
we'll just mess around a bit here. So yeah, we'll do zero build again. It seemed to work out quite well for us. Um, allows for the element stuff to work maybe a little bit better. But yeah, the, the, the skins are really fun. Like, obviously, like if you like the gameplay for Fortnite, it feels like... Maybe you don't need everything, every, absolutely everything avatar, but like your favorite character or two. Like if you get the battle pass and the mini battle pass, Korra, Aang, and then your favorite of the rest of them, it feels like, yeah, you have all the skins you kind of need for avatar. It is definitely fun. Um, I do wish maybe it wasn't so time gated here because it would have been fun on stream to see how many of the chakras I could get through in one go. But um this is the way they do it. They, they they did it this way for the TMNT event last time out, so there's that. Oh, look, it's Michelangelo. Uh, do we know if the bending elements will stay? They're here for three weeks, basically, is the, uh, the situation. The Avatar event lasts for uh, the coming three weeks, and then it's gone. They might bring them back uh, if they ever do a kind of repeat of the Avatar event. In the same way that, like, you know, Star Wars events, they typically add the lightsabers into the game as a weapon and stuff like that. Uh, the the blasters and stuff like that. They'll keep them there if they ever do anything else Avatar, but uh, at the moment, it is just the three, uh, the three weeks of the event. Ooh, whoa, 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 everyone's coming in here for the uh, shrine, so I'm going to head away. Uh, why is the CinemaCon news so hidden and not celebrated? Uh, basically because the event itself is a is mainly like an industry event basically um ooh. have i just okay got a weapon that's good yeah yeah the, the main reason is just that like it is an industry event primarily um so the people there are in the industry or media um and so that's why they allow reporting, but typically not like filming. Uh, okay, I'll just let that person go. I don't. I didn't get a great start here with the weapons I have, so I'll try and find better weapons. Um. It's, it's interesting because I think it's becoming more and more of a event that pretty much everyone focuses on. And you could tell by the fact that like a, a lot of the, the companies who, who make the movies, of course, did release trailers more or less in line with this to a certain degree. Um, it's just for, for, that was for movies that were coming out like very kind of quickly, like in the immediate kind of future. I, I don't really understand what the situation is when it comes to, like, uh, you know, for instance, like, this information came out. Like, you announced the cast effectively at this thing. People have reported on it. All the big websites have reported on it. 
why haven't they officially talked about that? Like, why isn't that up on the official Instagram? It's a kind of weird one. Uh, where'd you get that back bling? It wasn't there when I bought the skins. This is part of the event pass. Uh, the, the current kind of new thing. Can I actually show it? Uh, let me get... Yeah, it's part of this. The, the new thing that's just launched today. If you do enough of the quests to get yourself 2,000 chi, you unlock this. It's part of the free track, as far as I'm aware. You don't need to buy the pass to get this item on my back. Um... But you do need to do, I think, basically all of the, the challenges uh, that are out right now to get yourself 2,000 chi uh, over the limit. But that that's where it comes from. Because the back bling you get with Zuko, of course, is the uh, the scabbard for the, the broadswords. Um... Oh, wait, what am I wasting this for? Um... Water, water bending. Um, yeah, I'll get this instead of this. Whoa, what did I just do? Okay, yeah, I know what water bending does. Was there any footage shown? Yeah, as far as I'm aware, no footage visuals was shown. I think they just had whoever was presenting it just say the few bits of information um that's what's really unclear like a lot of the articles like they didn't actually say how it was presented in terms of like working title and the last airbender like i assume the fact that they knew just how to title it with like the ang colon the last airbender they they saw it somewhere so maybe they put the text up on screen announcing the uh uh the people <laughs> that one didn't work out so well. Uh, let's see, why aren't they using the original voice actors? The characters are grown up, so it won't sound weird to use them. Um, the... Okay, that was really loud. Um, anyway, the, the main reason for it is, is kind of twofold. The first and most obvious point is that they've, they've made a decision clearly that they want to have voice actors that better represent like the characters from the nations and what um, countries and stuff like that, what people the nations are based on. That's clearly one of the uh, aims. Um, and then the other point with specifically the voice actors from ATLA is that, for instance, like Zach, say Zach Tyler Eisen isn't a voice actor anymore. So... You know, I, I don't think that was ever going to be the case that he came back to do that. Now, the other actors, it's a bit of an interesting situation in terms of, like, I guess they... I, I'd like to know, like, did they contact them? Like, what the situation was in terms of, like, were they even, like, allowed to, like, audition necessarily for the role? Or did they just make the decision that, hey... The characters are significantly older than the versions you played, so we feel we'll just kind of do something different. 
Um, I, I'd, I'd like to know kind of some of those type of details in terms of like, you know, should the voice actors be kind of allowed to kind of fight for their role that they feel like is theirs or not? Um, it's an interesting kind of choice because obviously you have stuff like, say, Janet Varney has seemingly just like made her decision that like, hey, like, no, she's fine with kind of stepping aside to let someone else take on the role of Korra. Um, and that's the decision that she has made. Um, as I've said many times before in my videos, um, I tend to not overly focus on the actors and stuff like that. Not because I have an issue with them or I don't care. It's like I care more about the sort of end result, the, the kind of story material we get in the end. And I trust that they'll get good voice actors to do the, um, the role. I, I trust that the people they have, they did the process the audition process well and that they've made their choices um because like th this is the thing is like we, we don't need to be super locked into like nostalgia necessarily about this that we want these to be the actors for this movie just because they were the ones originally when it's like you know we don't know that those actors necessarily can pull off you know 20 something year old versions of the same character um obviously the situation is a bit weird where like the dante bosco situation is he actually coming back to voice zuko it's basically it seems like it's quote unquote confirmed but they didn't actually say it at the panel as far as i'm aware um And again, that's, that's part of the kind of following the reporting on this as well, is that a lot of the articles have information that's clearly a mix of we learned this today and we knew this from before type situation. The one thing with with Dante coming back is that like because he voiced like Iroh in Korra and basically just did the same voice I'm wondering like will they have direct him to do anything different or will it just be expected that hey do your Zuko voice or will they try and do like some sort of an, a change switch up to make it like a little bit more obviously kind of like older Zuko because of course we have a different voice actor who voices kind of like elderly Zuko in Korra. And are they going to try and like bridge the uh, the gap there a little bit? I, I kind of wonder. The fire temple, has it been ransacked already? Looks like it. Oh, but they left firebending here. Uh, okay, this, ooh, sniper. I don't really want that. Hello, fellow Zuko. Iro line. Hmm. Am I, uh, am I mistaken or will they allow bending styles in creative mode? I I honestly have no idea. Uh, when, it, when it comes to Fortnite, I, I mainly stick to playing Battle Royale, um, Zero Build, and a bit of Rocket Racing. I, I don't tend to really mess around with the other modes like that much. Um, 
So I'm not super familiar with like the exact details of like are all the items available in all the other modes and stuff like that. Not really sure. Um, Toph's voice actor's been more active recently. Why not get her back? Um, again, it comes down to the idea of like they obviously felt that she either can't do the voice that they want for an older Toph or for again the the reasons of just trying to have like accurate casting um culturally I suppose um they were like no but again we don't know like who was allowed to audition or not and all this sort of stuff we don't really know how exactly that was all done um is it, if the if the title really is Ang the Last Airbender it sounds kind of silly bland um, but but this is the question. What what then should it be? Like like that. I think that's the counterpoint because I've seen a lot of people say that it's not a good title. But I'm like, what should it be called? Because if you come up with like the other titles, like I don't think anyone's liked any of the uh, kind of rumored titles, like the Hidden Kingdom. Like, is the movie really just going to be the Hidden Kingdom? Like, just that on its own? Echoes and aftershocks, like. You have to be careful with how you do this in terms of like wording it kind of correctly and especially with some of the restrictions we kind of have in place from a licensing kind of perspective uh, of not really being able to simply just say like, oh, it's Avatar, Aang's movie type thing. Uh, it's a bit of an awkward situation that we're in. Because like, I, I don't love the fact that it's potentially going to just be um Ang the Last Airbender. But I get why they maybe feel that like it's the simplest way to cover all of their bases and just make it super clear that one, this is a separate avatar to James Cameron's avatar, which I think is going to have the movie out a couple of months afterwards or something like that. Um, and then you make it clear it's it's Aang. It's the last Airbender franchise, because that also kind of basically is the franchise name to a certain degree. Um, and, you know, you have a lot of things like that going on. Legend of Aang, The Hidden Kingdom, like, that might be a way to do it, like, is to really emphasize that, like, okay, we're calling, every, what, if, if we're focused on an avatar, we're always going to do Legend of Name of the Avatar, and then subtitle something else. I think that's maybe a decent way to do it. Um, okay, what's this? Oh, airbending, okay. Um... Hmm, sniper, I'll grab this. Uh, internationally, it's always been Legend of Aang. And it's... It, it's one of those things, it's always been Avatar Legend of Aang in, and translated into other um, languages. Um, they obviously dropped the Avatar for Korra. So it's just Legend of Korra, not Avatar Legend of Korra. And then we, of course, if anyone was around during the build-up to Korra, we had the whole idea that it was, uh, it was at one point working titled The Last Airbender Legend of Korra, which I, I think for obvious reasons they dropped. Um, 
but it's the it's the issue that we have uh, franchise naming across the board that we want to call it avatar we want just the word avatar to be our star wars basically where they get to do star wars the what of what we can't really just do avatar xy uh we have to do something else so it's a bit uh a bit bit of a tricky one Disappointed we may not see Azula in the movie. Um, I thought we would get a final conclusion to Spirit Temple stuff. I feel her voice actor would have been announced in this event. Um, it's hard to say because they're avoiding anything related to plot. In that, obviously the only plot that we got here is that like, oh hey, there's a villain in the movie. Here's the here's the voice actor, um. So okay, we we there is going to be a threat of some form. That's interesting to know, um. But they didn't say anything, and so other characters that they include like that would sort of be getting into kind of plot related stuff. So like mentioning that Azula is included is kind of a an interesting kind of more notable reveal. So. Nearly didn't get that one. And the same with Suki. It's like, we all want Suki, I think, to be in the movie because we all consider her a part of Team Avatar. But then you also have to factor in that, like, canonically, Sokka, Suki, like, the, what exactly happens when, like, Sokka's an adult is a bit of a mystery. They, they've, they've avoided revealing that for whatever reason. The same with the whole Meizuko stuff of, like, they they broke them up in the comics and uh, even though Smoke and Shadow was kind of positive towards, you know, okay, maybe it's going to happen eventually, they still haven't confirmed that yet. And, and it's stuff like that where, like, if they announce May, are they effectively confirming May and Zuko are back together? You know, that sort of thing. Um, they're, they're being, I think, purposefully, like, super cautious around, like, basically all of that stuff. Um, so, that that's why, obviously, the, the actors here is just the really obvious characters. And, and even then, I, I remember, they didn't actually, like... Yeah, like, like it, it, you, you need to remember, like, they, they didn't actually announce anyone by name except Aang, effectively. Like, I'm pretty sure we've just figured out the other actors by process of elimination, and the fact that we, we basically had previous information about, like, um, uh, Katara's voice actress and stuff like that. Missed my shots. Um, I expected the Zula story in the Zuko movie, but reports are saying the Zuko movie is scrapped. Um, this is where like, we get into the whole idea of... We had early reports, and, and it, it's important to remember, like we've not really had a, a rumoured kind of 
proper report about like what the other projects are in a long time because avatar new news hasn't posted anything like it stopped posting news like quite a while ago um so it, it's just the idea of um we seem to now know like of course the movies are all separate things apparently it seems like maybe one of them is is actually maybe going to actually be Korra which is interesting uh, and then what's the third movie going to be if it is about a different avatar um and then mini series um lots of different avenues to tell stories like the Zuko movie could turn into like a Zuko mini series it could be a Zuko animated short all this other sort of stuff like they could move these things around and that sure they're considering nearly anything and everything and that like say Azula obviously people want to know where her story goes and kind of continues here she's clearly on their mind because Azula in the spirit temple was clearly written in the avatar um studios era and they chose to kind of in a way bring her back at this point for some sort of a reason um they have an idea it's just about like when are we actually going to see some of that stuff and again it's the idea of they've mostly stopped the comics from doing anything like hugely significant in a long time because of avatar studios stuff so that's the kind of weirdness there as well. Uh, okay, where are we going here? So we have fire... Fire temple just here. Um, let's see, Sokka, Toph, like that, that's always been a bit of a discussion because of course we don't know who, um, Su Yin's father is and there's always been the speculation of if it, is it Sokka and Toph there, who knows if they have some sort of a plan there, we, we, again, we just don't know what, what the situation is. No Avatar Free Comic Book Day this year, nope. Uh, we've known that for quite a while and we won't find out about one next year until pretty much like December so um, that's that um, uh, what's the hardest Ang pass quest uh, of the first batch here, um, I don't think any of them were particularly difficult. Like, one of them was uh, like deal a thousand damage with water bending. So I guess if you're not good with water bending, you might have had some trouble with that. But otherwise, everything else was pretty simple. It was like what land in water twice, um, heal with water bending, pretty easy. Um, I forget some of the other ones um, that, that we did already. But none of them were difficult. Like, there was nothing complicated, like, do this weird sequence of events um, or anything like that. I think visit a shrine, but they're all over the place. Um, they're pretty easy to find. Um, visit an elemental shrine. Yeah, do stuff with water bending. Nothing really complicated there. I think they'll get more complicated as we go on. Um, as they'll ask you to probably do more stuff with like, you know, earth bending, for instance, you know, if you if you happen to not be very good with a specific thing, it, it might be tricky. Um, I think we know what all the quests are if you look online, but. Um, we have to wait a couple of days to get to that stuff. Um.
Is this the most busy you've been on your channel for Avatar? Um, sort of. Like, because trying to cover all of Netflix Avatar because it released all at once was just a, a challenge. Like, that that was just a mess. Um, and I, I really, 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 really hope they do not in any way consider releasing the first new Avatar series all at once. I really, really hope they don't do that. Um, but yeah, um, that, that was busy just because like, I, I, I just needed more time to spread that out across and it felt like a little bit rushed. I'm usually more busy, like when the novels come out, like I would say, it's just like that. Okay. There's some, you know, stuff like Fortnite stuff is kind of cool. It's, it's more heavily in the news. Um, some merch announcements are starting to happen again, but it's also like, when was the last like canon content that we got and it's like well it was like azula and uh the rpg stuff from last year and it's like we don't get that many comics anymore like we've had years where there have been more comics and so again it's pretty much waiting for the roku novel to come out waiting for the the next um uh you know bounty hunter the t-bird to come out that will be kind of where things get more busy because obviously I, I do quite a lot of coverage of the novels. Um, but obviously with Avatar Studios news down to like pretty minimal stuff and that like the news that we got yesterday, I did my video yesterday. There's, there's nothing else to talk about with it because of the type of news that it was. Okay, we'll do Katara. And... Um, So, view quests. So, yeah, I can't really look at them all again. But, uh, yeah, that's what's going on there. Um, they were all pretty simple, ultimately. Um, uh, are you happy with more Avatar content on the way? A lot of people seem to hate continued franchise content, but Avatar... I've been personally waiting for this. I'm personally super happy about it because I always wanted more Avatar content 100% um, Avatar I don't think is anywhere close to being a franchise that they are driving into the ground we've had two big projects effectively like in terms of like canon ATLA and then a few years later uh, quite a few years later like they did Korra. It's now been even longer than that. Like, it's been 10 years since the last significant content. There's so many avatars you can cover. There's so much stuff to cover with the avatars that we already have, let alone the ones that we haven't explored yet. Um, I don't really understand, like, especially with Avatar, where they've already kind of built up the idea it's multi-generational, which is a problem that I think other franchises face. Like, I think Star Wars has struggled with them um, trying to create the broad appeal around, like, it's Star Wars, but in a slightly different era, separated from the, the you know, the prequel original kind of sequel era. Um, I personally don't really get why, like, for instance, like, The Acolyte has been, like, absolutely kind of, like, torn apart based on what we've seen of it so far um but with avatar people really want kyoshi stuff from a completely different era people want to know about all this stuff from the past um and i think they've set it up well they just need to balance doing the stuff that people really want like continuing and content continuing Korra, with doing the other stuff um so 
I don't think we can answer the question of like, you know, are they kind of doing Avatar content wrong until we get more content? But right now we are nowhere near saturation kind of point or anything like that. Am I planning to do a stream for the next batch of content? Um, hmm, it's in three days. Because I now know, I think, what this is, I'm, I'm pro I probably will do a thing where, like, I'll just do a quick stream. Like, this is going to be, I suppose, uh, I'll, I'll go for maybe another hour or so here. Um, on that stream, I'll probably just pop on for, like, the, what, hour, hour and a half, maybe, that it actually takes to do it. Um, and just do the quests and just have some regular streams going over the Fortnite stuff. Um, we'll, we'll see how exactly it goes. I'm not guaranteeing I'll do a stream for every single one, but... You know, it's uh, I think it's it's a fun thing to do to talk about. Um, let's see. Wait, the RPG is canon. Um, most of the RPG is canon. The stuff that is specifically lore, story information, like new characters, is canon. Yes, but obviously stuff where you play the game with your own created characters, that's not not canon. But there clearly is, like in the core book for the RPG, there is lore sections and one of them of course is the roku era that roku era stuff in the in the rpg is 100 percent canon because it's brand new information we've never had before um and that's that's the kind of important thing to realize there i i get why people have the reaction of like wait the rpg book is like has canon material but it's like yes because it's it's like a data book style thing um ultimately um oh yeah the the figure yeah we might as well do that now actually while we're here at, at a bit of a break point um okay so i need to switch over to this um just camera yes um and so yeah we can do the figure unboxing here and answer more questions uh overall but yeah uh, rpg is definitely canon i uh i might i might actually show some of that just to make it clear to to people in a second um so yeah, let me just actually pull that up while I'm answering the question actually here. Um, and then I can switch to this. Yeah, so this is the RPG book. Uh, I'll open the table of contents actually. So you can see here, table of contents on the RPG book. Uh, welcome to the game. Chapter 2, for instance. This is the lore section of the book. It's like, as you can see here, it's like 80 pages long. Um, this is the canon section of the of the book, where it explores the history, stuff we already know, but then adds in bits of new information and stuff like that. Um, so if we actually scroll down to that a little bit here, exploring history, you can see it covers the whole idea of like creation of the avatar, avatar's abilities, bit of a map, including some new information, as you can see here, like Roku era information, Chen Bao and all this sort of stuff, a few different place name locations. A lot of it's more general information because, again, people are going to be playing this game. This might be their introduction to Avatar. Us hardcore fans, of course, have this knowledge just from watching the shows, but they need to present it here as kind of pure lore, basically, here. Um, but you can see here there's stuff like Agna Kella for the Water Tribes and so on. Uh, if we scroll down into the way they do it, currently the game has five eras, Kyoshi, Roku, Hundred Year War era, Ang era, basically post-war era, and then Korra era. And it has all the information you'd want. Like the Kyoshi era covers the stuff from the novels, but there are some additional pieces of information that are that's in here as well. Um, so some of the characters are kind of completely new overall. Um, mainly stuff like here yeah yeah the air nomads of the kyoshi era for instance like there's some new characters named here um but i think it's the the roku era is what i mainly want to talk about because you have so much stuff that we never knew about before is covered in the roku era um so you know princess zaysan like this is one of the this was of course one of the biggest reveals from the book when it came out of course is the idea wait sozin has a sister um, everyone knows about it now, but like it was a huge reveal at the time that like that's a bit crazy. Um, and so it's one of those things where like if you're not familiar with the uh, RPG information, I would definitely recommend uh, especially getting the core book 
I understand how some of the other stuff, the more minor pieces of information, is a little bit like, eh, it's trying to pick out small pieces. But the core book and the 80 pages of lore is actually really, really good. Um, but yeah, let's do the unboxing of this. So this is the uh, Diamond Select Toys uh, Gallery Diorama Toff figure, as you can see here. Uh, release on this was, uh, I think at some point over the last kind of couple of months, I get confused about when exactly they do or don't come out in different places, but, uh, I'll open this up, uh, and I'll do, I'll probably do a video up on the channel uh, at some point a little later on, doing more of a comparison with other figures, um, just because it's, it's awkward to set up camera stuff to, to cover, like, big statues and stuff like that. But let's open this up. These are pretty easy to open, if I remember correctly. So you can see we have our kind of inner tray here. And I just have to cut some pieces of tape. Okay, so there's our figure here. Let's see, Toph. Pretty nice. So you can see here, the, the one criticism of this is just that the pose is maybe not super Toph and her specific earthbending style. But of course, it's not that earthbenders never kick, it's not that Toph never removes her feet from the ground, um, but it's maybe not the most classic Toph bending pose, but for the price that this is, like it's like what, 50, 60-ish dollars, it's a nice figure, depiction of the character that's very accurate, but it also has like a big fancy kind of base on it as well. Um, which is, is definitely something I like. It's, it's not like super plain as a figure, but um, it's got a bit of uh, kind of something to it. Like, I really like that there's just a lot of bending effect going on. So you can see there that, like, the, the top figure is on, like, a kind of earth kind of base. And there's lots of kind of effects going on here. Like, you can see there's bits of, uh, where am I pointing to? Here, kind of trans transparent pieces to get across the idea that it's, like, dust. But then there's, like, actual, like, painted stuff that's, like, it's rock. It's very clearly rock. And I like that just effect uh, overall for Earth. Um, and and this is why the, the diorama line is very cool. Because it's that mix of... The actual character is quite good. Like you can see there... Like the eyes behind the kind of fringe is quite nice. Um, and it's obviously a very accurate depiction of uh, Toph from the show. Uh, and even like this... Like look at the details on like her, her hand on the belt um on the kind of foot like the pa the paint on it's very nice it's this it's the idea of like it's a, it's like an affordable but kind of slightly more high end figure that's not just like super cheap super basic but like it's actually doing something kind of quite adventurous without like being a $200 figure that's why i always like the diamond select figures uh, do i have any th any of the other ones to hand I suppose, here's the Aang, actually. Uh, the other ones are completely on the other side of the room. But here's the Aang. This was the original one that came out, of course. This is the first Diamond Select release, for anyone wondering. V very cool. And they do this with all of them. Fancy kind of element effect base. And then a nice depiction of the character as well. And the big thing that I like, they did the Book 3 outfits for, for them as well. So it's book three Katara, it's book three Aang, um, it's book three uh, Zuko and stuff like that. Um, very, very, very nice. So, trying to show them off together. You can see, uh, sort of like that. Pretty nice, just very cool. That, that's what I look for in figures, is that, like, 
I like the ones that are just kind of uh, straight up um, super detailed, um, but there's not maybe much effect stuff going on. Um, but I like that there's more of an effect stuff going on there. So there's Toph's face. Um, sort of about as best as I can show here on this camera. So it's it's pretty it's pretty nice the way they do it. Um let me get a close look myself. So yeah, they they've definitely gone for a bit of the kind of like frosted kind of look for her eyes. There's like the hint of a pupil, but it's um kind of faded, of course, is sort of the idea that they're going for with the toff. Um the kind of headband thing is quite nice. And her hairstyle's done pretty well also. Um so, yeah, like, other than, like, the pose maybe not being, like, a, a super signature um, Toph pose, I think it's it's really cool how they uh, overall did it. Um, and I like that I have four, the, the kind of the main four, one of each element, because uh, so far there's four releases, uh, Aang, Zuko, Katara, and now Toph. There is an Iroh coming out over the next... Uh, I think it might, might already be out, depending on where you are. There is an Iroh done in this style. Uh, I'm not going to be getting that one myself. Um, probably going to wait to see if they do like a Sokka or a Suki. So you can see that the, the same problem we're facing with Fortnite, we kind of face with the merchandise a lot of the times as well. It's like they'll always do like Ang, Zuko. Typically they nowadays they'll do Toph, they'll do Katara. But then it's like, are you going to do Sokka? Especially with the statues, are you going to do Sokka? given that you can't um you don't have an element effect base to kind of do with Sokka so for this line say they did Sokka in this line what would they do to make it sort of have just as fancy of a base like they could obviously just do a terrain kind of type thing they could have him you know really put a lot of effort into like he has his sword, but you also see some of his other weapons on his back or something like that. Um, maybe, like, Momo is also, like, sculpted onto his one or something like that. Um, that's a, a potential option. Um, and then the, the, the one thing I, I'd say, is like, with the Aang and some of the other ones, is that the face is not, like, stunning. It, it is the uh, sculptor going for more of a, their own sort of, like, art style. I still think it's very... Ang, it's just um it's maybe from a little bit of an era with the statues and stuff like that where they they more went for serious ang rather than kind of fun or kind of just smiling ang um but uh still for 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 the price and stuff like that i think it's 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 pretty nice overall so uh i'll pop this here and you can't quite see that because my logo's in the way. Um, otherwise, I don't really have a lot of my other avatar stuff to hand right now. Um, mini Zuko. <laughs> um, I do have that on my desk. So that's kind of nice. Um, otherwise, <laughs> not really a lot going on. Um, Porygon. But let's not just focus on every single thing I have on my desk. Um, so I guess we'll go back to um, Fortnite now and answer more of the questions that are going on here. Um, let's see. So there's that. And then I'm going to full screen. Yes, there we go. Okay. Hmm. Okay, Batard Jr. without glasses meme thoughts. Um, I'm not sure what we're talking about there. Is that still continuing the whole is Batard Jr. he looks like Sokka or something like that? Um, I'm not really sure. Hmm. But yes, yeah, Suki would be, I think, really cool in a statue. Um, just because there's a lot of detail on her outfit if they if they ever decided to do that. It's just, when are they going to do it? 
it's the same with a lot of a lot of the merch lines it's like i think these days a lot of people don't want to get invested in a new avatar merch line unless they know it's going to get to the point where it includes like x character or y character for me i would definitely say that those characters are i'd say like may entirely if you're not eventually going to get to like at least may entirely it kind of feels like why, why are we getting invested in your toy line basically like we know you're going to do the main obvious team avatar members you're going to do azula iro maybe an ozai but then after that, like, are you actually going to do anything more than that? Are you going to give us Suki? Are you going to give us uh, Mei Tai Li? Stuff like that. And yeah, other past avatars, oftentimes it feels like they hesitate to do that. Like, it's weird kind of with the Funko Pops that like we actually still don't have a Roku. There's no Roku Funko Pop. The Funko Pops at least have covered quite a bit of ground, but there's there's some stuff that is kind of missing. Um. But uh, yeah, so uh, I'll actually switch back to normal Battle Royale here. Um, I get a bit frustrated sometimes with zero build. The extra shield that you get that's rechargeable can be a bit frustrating in terms of like finishing off kills. Whereas at least if you hit someone behind the walls of building, like they still only have that amount of health. Um, but anyway... Um, and yeah, with, with, with statues, I would say the main statue I want is I really want an Avatar Wan statue or figure. That's probably my number one thing. Like, if they did a Wan with like Rava, like separate, I think that would be something I would really, really, really want. Uh, let's see, do you do you think the books will end? Let's assume they do Kurok after Roku. Do you think they'll continue after six to eight books in this series, considering FCE's hes hesitancy for writing new avatars? Um, I think they'll keep going as long as they can. Like, the books have been super successful. They're working on developing multiple eras of Avatar anyway. So, in my mind, it's kind of like, uh, why wouldn't you continue? I... I get it it's in in the case of like a lot of people have that kind of like sense of like well surely they're only doing the ones that we kind of know about so once they cover roku and maybe they do a karuk book eventually will they actually go and do other avatars will they do a zito novel will they do an avatar goon uh, or avatar salai novel are they willing to actually effectively have an entirely new era where like effectively you know, the only thing we've known from before is, like, a name. Like, like Salai, I suppose, is probably the really obvious one there. Like, would they ever do a Chronicles of the Avatar, like, Book 11, Salai? Given that the only thing we know about Salai is, like, really, really good legendary Avatar. One of the ones that all the Avatars kind of look up to historically. Um, and, like, stuff like that. There's no actual details about what Avatar Salai did or anything like that. So, you know, that's a super open thing because I'd also like assume it's a, an era, maybe an era or two uh, before... Uh, yeah, it, it, I assume it's probably like an era or two before like anything we really know about. So like it will be a full on like new situation to kind of classify. And I kind of want that freedom. I, I kind of I do feel there's there's been maybe some slight limitations with some of the Avatar books because kind of like F FCE has kind of said, he prefers to build off the characters where there is a bit of material with them already. 
and that kind of locks you into kind of certain things in a way. Um, I, I really would like to see an author be given the chance to do a novel where they effectively are free to kind of do their, like, anything effectively. Like, apart from the big, broad history of the world, like, they don't have to go with the idea of, like, well... The most significant event in Kyoshi's life is this, and because of that, this can't happen. With Salai, it's kind of like anything can happen. You just have to eventually present the character as being a legend. That's kind of interesting. Temple. But yeah, the, the the novels are are fantastic because they're our, our main source of like new material at the moment. Um there is maybe a slight question of like when Avatar Studios gets going and maybe we have all this other stuff coming out, like did they slow down with them as well? Like I, I'm very interested to see what what, what happens with publishing. Um, when we finally get started, like, let's say middle of 2026, where we're finally, like, we've, we have some stuff already. Like we've had the first like movie. We know we've already had maybe the first series or something like that. Um, what, what are the comics like then? Are the comics now open to do stuff because you've settled on ideas or are we just sticking to the fact that the comics are just random one shots? Are we going to open up and do different stuff? Um, the novels as well, it kind of feels like, well, I guess there probably will be some avatars where they won't get their own series or movie. So the novels is a perfect place to explore something like that. But, um, you know, I'd like to know kind of what the plan is there. Because, like, I assume there's going to be stuff. Like, we're going to get art books again from Dark Horse about the new projects. And that feels, like, basically guaranteed to happen. And then there, there is still the opportunity to, like, as mentioned in chat there, like to go back and do another Kyoshi novel, but have it be when she's a bit older. And then, and then that's another angle that I think we need to address as well. Of like, so far everything's been YA and it's been good, but I think there's a little bit of frustration about the fact that it feels like, Oh, we can only do the stories of like up and coming teenage avatars, which there's still room to do different stories with, but like, I think we are kind of all interested to see them do a a story that is more of a hey fully realized avatar doing their thing Hundred nineteen meters, that was pretty nice.
Will Fortnite do more iconic memes and motes from the Avatar shows? Um, I don't think there's anything else like scheduled that we know about. Maybe if they do a wave two, I assume there'll be a an emote or two that gets added in. Um, we but we have to wait and see if they do a wave two, if they have one already, maybe, or if they plan to do it at a later point. Um, because even though I say that, it's not it's really not guaranteed that they do a wave two of Avatar stuff. Got a bit trapped there. Probably shouldn't have jumped, jumped in like that. They might just bring back the characters after the movie comes out, like Invincible, but not a Wave Two. Uh, yeah, and that that's that's a possibility. The other possibility is that they might do like a tie-in with the movie. Like they they that's that's one of the things that like we probably have to maybe wait and see about. But like we've never had this kind of really before when it comes to like animated avatar of like the movie coming out and like there's going to be lots of promotion and stuff like that lots of room for collaborations and stuff like that but um i'm assuming there's a chance for like fortnite skins for adult versions of the characters um and some sort of a collaboration with that they could bring back the old stuff do new stuff um lots of stuff that they could do Hmm, so have we been to everyone? Um Wait. Have we seen Aang? I I think we went to the Aang, he wasn't there. Maybe I'm misremembering that. Okay, so we'll, uh, I suppose I'll, I'll kind of probably wrap it up myself here uh, after I go to see Aang. So maybe if I get to see Aang in this uh, gameplay here, this might be the last game. Uh, we'll see how it goes.
Uh, otherwise, I think we've seen all the new stuff that's actually been added in the uh, the update, the kind of like map update and stuff like that. And obviously, the, there's no new quests until uh, a little later on, uh, in a couple of days. And I'll do coverage on that. Um, there's a video, there's a news video I need to make covering some scattered pieces of news that I haven't uh, got around to yet. Mainly just some uh, realms collide stuff because um, they seem to be building up to something. Um, actually, now that I think about that, I'm pretty sure they said on Discord that there's going to be a post about realms collide uh, at 10. I forget if I'm on the same time zone as them, but I'll just uh, have to check that. Okay, here's Aang. Katara. Oh, look, the direct interaction there. Have you seen Momo? So we temporarily got to see Aang, but th this is a crazy movement ability. Like, like, look how f fast you can get across the terrain here with this. So yeah, I'll just have to remember to check that just to see if that realms collide information comes out today. Um. Weird game. Definitely a weird game. I, I don't really know what to make of it, honestly. Um, Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, now, head back in this way. How on earth did it only hit one shot? I know, I'm basically out of ammo. Fire bending. Um,
Okay, that was a bit crazy, but we somehow came out of it with some kills. Um, okay, yeah, we need to move in. Okay, so where did that guy go? Um, oh yeah, it's over this way. Okay, yeah, thermal scope, the Amor. Okay, we'll get the forecast on the storm circle. Oh. Yeah, the, I think the air scooter is probably like one of the best ever movement kind of abilities Fortnite has ever had.
probably not the best move to come through here. This is usually a pretty busy area. Okay, air bending again. Okay, so 12 other players left. Um, I think I'll just head up here and see what happens. Did they see me over there? Okay, so will they follow me through here? <laughs> Probably not. Hmm. Okay, there's some action going on over there. Earth bending. Hmm. Not sure I need it necessarily. Okay, so we're across from here. Six players left. Okay, there's some crazy stuff happening over here.
That was terrifying. Do they have any other healing stuff? Uh, yes. Two players left. Okay, so it's flying overhead. Okay, where's my next spot? Okay, <laughs> once again, no win on the stream. Well, we came close a few times. So, um, yeah, probably going to wrap it up there. Um, again, like I said, I, I'm not sure what the plan necessarily will be for the other parts of the event. Um, I might stream kind of just going through some of the quests. Maybe it depends on like how interesting or not maybe they are. Um probably won't be as long as kind of these ones maybe just directly focused on um going through the rest of the quests because if they're going to do it where like there's about 2000 chi per chakra well what get this group of items next time so it'll mainly be like building up to this um and so that the next one will probably be that then the next stream i guess will be basically building up to getting the momo back bling then it's basically building up to the if it's 2000 per it'd be building up to the cabbage emote um then then basically the air nomad staff and then the final few quests to get the space sword and the other ang skin um i'll i'll, I'll do something certainly um 
uh, especially because, I, I, as we saw here, we got through the quest fairly easily, and I don't think any of the quests in the future ones that I've seen are too complicated. But um, yeah, you can see, you can actually see over here. Um, my Oppa glider. I have one of the six chakras unlocked to get this, so um, close. And it is one of those things where, like, I definitely want to do. I want to get all of this stuff, certainly. Um, otherwise, um, I'm pretty sure tomorrow I'll have my um, Boruto manga chapter speculation video up, and then uh. Sunday video I'm gonna try and kind of do a kind of news recap uh, video kind of covering some of the stuff that I kind of missed um, and then just before I go let me just check one thing okay Avatar Realms Collide okay they have put up something Um, leaders what does it say here Um. Chan Yu is now taller and stronger, yet also appears hunched and um, ominously demonic. He wields immense power acquired in exchange for the blood of humans, but who bestowed upon him this formidable gift? Um, okay, that's a bit odd. Um, let me actually just show you guys this just before we go. So, yeah, they just posted uh, this, as you can see here. Um... So, new post about the game, new piece of art, um, mainly with Chan Yu. We've seen this, these images for the other characters before. Um, this, I guess, is what Fuzhi, Chan Yu. This is a new character uh, who I don't think we've seen before. Uh, and then I'm not sure who the characters up front necessarily are. Um, again, they continue to be rather generic about the whole situation here in terms of plot um because we know like there was literally a test last week of the game where you got to play the start of the game we know who bestowed upon him this formidable gift it's father glowworm we we, we literally know this now so they're they're being a bit weird about this when it's been kind of clear for some time it's father glowworm um so interesting um, I I still want them to just come out and be clear about like is the story of this game going to be canon or not? Um, because it's a bit weird that the way they're talking about this. Um, but I, I suppose they make it clear here the idea the exchange is Glowworm gives him power in exchange for the blood of humans. This is basically the deal Glowworm offered to Yoon before Yoon like basically defeated him and then ate him so this is the idea of you actually form a bargain with the spirit uh, and you agree to it so that's what Chan Yu has done um I really would like to know if they would mention it in relation to it um if there is actually a proper canon story here like is this post like Kyoshi like as in Yoon has been killed Glowworm as a spirit is reborn and he is reborn in um so he's been reborn he's built up power over the kind of generations whenever this is set and he has now made this bargain with Chan Yu or is this in the past and it's maybe before some of that stuff like this is maybe before Kyoshi's era maybe it's before um Karuk's era even so it, it's a weird one where like there's some weird timeline stuff going on here because the inclusion of the main characters is probably the story related aspect of this that you'd have to basically have to ignore and um, unless they're saying it's set in the Ang era which I find it very difficult to believe like that this is a side story that happened and um, because nothing suggests it's set like after the series or anything like that so I don't know how they're really going to attempt to explain this um so right now I am kind of leaning towards, I'm, I'm thinking it probably will just be a non-canon scenario to create somewhat of a story around the game. But the use of Glowworm makes it like kind of interesting to where I kind of would like them to try to bring something together. Um, because the, the potential is kind of interesting. 
Um, but this is obviously, it seems like this is how spirits can regain power is by basically feeding on humans and like basically devouring them, um, which is an interesting dynamic. Um, interesting. We'll, we'll, we'll see where they go with it, if it leads to anything. But, um, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a frustrating one because they said the previous post, which is one of the news things I was going to talk about, um, they also had some weird stuff where it's like, he's been a spiritual adept all his life, attuned to the ways of nature, born into the rocky wasteland of the Earth Kingdom, soon learned to trust his warnings of sudden earthquakes. Now, with 37 years, he's the leader of the barbarian death cult, but why? So they're, they're confirming some interesting information here. Like, he's 37 years old, apparently. He's a spiritual adept who has been... Uh, his people, I guess, learned to trust him being able to sense um disasters approaching what does that mean very still rather generic in terms of like what era is the character actually from and what's the whole dynamic of the game uh with regards to that um there's some confusing stuff here but there is potential like i said so uh yeah um wrapping up the stream um yeah, I'll, I'll have more streams, for more Fortnite stuff, and obviously, as usual on the channel, I'll cover Avatar news as it comes out. But um, thanks to everyone for coming out to the stream, um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. But uh, that's been it. Thanks for watching, and bye.